Well, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Well, 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 turn that fan off, I'm about to fuck that whole video up. Well, first of all, let's get all this nonsense out of the way. Alright, all right, enough fake dramatics. And what are we doing here today? This is what we're doing here today. This, this is what we're doing today. Now you won't let go. Bustin' a 40, spin on your shorty, don't do Bacardi, don't do Bacardi. Bust a pinata, open your mata. Actually, actually, we're here to talk about some of the best in German engineering, okay? As we all know, I will suck off everything that says Knipex. No, not really. There's actually a few tools that I would not even, I wouldn't purchase again from them. But anyways, we're going to get to the star of the show today. We got the Ghidor 10-inch, 10-inch, uh, whatever. I for, I don't know what that is in, in Mila, not American meters, um, but... You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm getting at. 10 inch pliers. Um, and there's your part number, obviously. 142 10. You know, since everybody needs to know that. And these are actually made in Austria, which is kind of interesting. I ex fully expected these to be made in Germany. I mean, sometimes this shit's kind of suspicious. You know, I feel like there's some, there's a brand, I swear, that has that right there in that same spot but i don't know i can't remember but anyways if anyone knows who these are rebranded by put that down in the comments so anyways if you guys follow me on instagram tiktok or twitter or facebook shout out to myself you'll know i bought these i think a month or two ago two months ago roughly something like that and yeah so we've been using them using the piss out of them anyways let's get started let's let me show you how how they worked out so there's the jaws obviously i haven't cleaned them i haven't done anything with them yet but just showing you kind of the condition before i start to wipe anything down there's a little bit of surface rust here but that's from all the chemicals i work with nothing to really uh, nothing to really blame the pliers with because i've never owned a brand that didn't i mean yeah so let's get those jaws cleaned up so as you can see all of these are pretty much perfect I don't I mean I see a little bit right there a little deformation all the nice all these little teeth here are pretty much perfectly formed still a little deformation right there but nothing nothing too atrocious atrocious can't even say that word try to sound smart um, and yeah these all look great so we'll look at the top really quick uh, let's see pretty much perfect I mean as you can see right there there's a little bit of deformation let's get that to focus because I'm a dumb fuck there you go so just a little bit right there let me stab my hand with this really sharp pick come on we're fucking around with me so all these teeth are nice and perfect all these teeth are still pretty much fucking pretty ideal they're a little rounded they're not as sharp as the day I bought them guys sorry but they're not but they're they're just not but nothing's broken nothing's chipped nothing's really flattened out more than what's expected from the use I mean here's a few examples of some of my other pliers all right here's an example of some well used pliers and I mean Jesus what did I what did I use these on I don't remember them. Oh, okay, they're just dirty. I was going to say, I'm like, damn. I do not remember doing that to those. Okay. But these are pretty well chewed up. These are six months old. But anyways, I'm, I'm not seeing anything, any too adva advanced, uh, uh, wait, what's the word for it? Advanced wearing. And, you know, in relations to this one or any other pliers, they're not wearing abnormally fast. And they're actually holding up pretty pretty well. My gold standard yet so far for as far as wearing of the teeth and how durable they are, the strength, uh, the hardness, all that all that nonsense has been Stalwilla. Those hold up. Those by far have the strongest jaws. The this part right here have I've seen the least formation out of all of them. Deformation, sorry, including in the small teeth and the and the main teeth there. So. That's my golden standard that I use. So anyways, 
perfectly formed there. There's nothing wrong with the jaws here. This little snipe nose is pretty interesting. I kind of thought that I was going to just bother me. Kind of like the, I have some of the Knipex ones that have the similar nose, but not quite as narrow, not quite as long. Or sorry, the Knipex are longer and narrower. Durr. And uh, just like the guy she told you not to worry about. But um, yeah, those have a much smaller jaw. So these didn't bother me as much as those did. They are not, they're not, they're, these are sized better than those because they're, it's not too long and it's not too short. It's just perfect. But anyways, so there's that. I did enjoy that feature of the mouth there. These grips are decent enough. They remind me, they're pretty much channel lock grips, except these I haven't been able to pull off. They're pretty well secured. I'm not exactly sure how they secure them, but they're definitely done way better than Knip, or channel lock do, is done. And they have this, they're actually grooved or formed to that center part there. So that'll give that bitch some suction, you know, or some hard, harder to pull that one off at least. And that's usually the one that I end up pulling off. Anyways, <laughs> yanking off. You bloody wanker. Anyways, also another thing to note, these teeth are all perfectly formed. Um, some other channels might tell you how many jaw positions that it, are there. I think that's kind of unnecessary. I mean, unless you're going from this to this, then yeah, that's pretty necessary to mention that. But as far as jaw, the amount of teeth, these here, it doesn't matter about the count. What I'll tell you right now is that it adjusts finely enough that you can, I haven't had a single size pipe or, or a bolt or anything that I couldn't size it correctly. As long as it was within the range of the jaws, it, I could size it perfectly. And where I felt like the grip was comfortable, you weren't like this, and you're not like this, if you get what I'm saying, when you're gripping on something. But just to give you a comparison, since we're talking about jaw capacity, here's the Stahl Willows. They're pretty similar. The Ghidors are a little bit bigger. So, yeah, quite a bit. They're a little bit bigger. You got a little bit more capacity. Now, obviously, through Knipex, Knipex always seems to beat out everybody. I'm, except NWS. I think NWS has a slightly bigger jaws, but those pliers are trash. Get it? Tools and trash. Um, but, anyways. So. Yeah, so there's that. Honestly, like this comes in handy, but not for grabbing stuff. I use that for more for like a pry bar. If that, you gotta use these pliers as a pry bar to know what the hell I'm talking about. I, I don't, I can't sit here and explain that to you, but yeah. So like the jaw capacity is nice, but it's not. I mean, like you're not gonna get anything moving that size. You can hold on to stuff, kind of. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that necessary to have that kind of jaw capacity. Because you're not going to really fucking move anything at that point. But, whatever. Even this, you ain't going to move something that big. If it's like a big ass nut, or a stud or something, more than likely you ain't going to move it. But, it does come in handy for other stuff. For gripping, pinching, stuff like that. But anyways. Um, which, by the way, these work good for electrical connectors because of that snout. Um, another thing that's very interesting, this one, similar to the NWS, has a nice ridge in there, helps keep that motherfucker in place, since I like to use mine as a hammer from time to time, or every day, um, it helps keep that in place, I never have to readjust that little fucking, uh, spring steel, spring steel thingy, springy steel, still blah, 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 um, back together, so that's kind of handy, or that's nice, and yeah, I haven't, have not had any problems with this fastener which by the way it's a Torx if that interests you at all what size I have no fucking idea but yeah it's currently full of dirt but um yeah that works nice I haven't had any problems with this catching or snagging the adjustment works perfectly I'm just as good as Knipex or, and Hazet and all those brands you know like it's just as good if not better no, no problems at all buttery smooth from the day I bought them it takes a minute, maybe go like this two times, and the thing's broken in basically at that point. So, you'll have no problems there. This button's been nice. It's nice and fat. It's a little bit more, I feel like it's more comfortable to use than this button. Not that that's a huge deal, but the fact that it has round and a divot, it's nice. It's it's nicer than this button, that's for sure. Um, now, these run, I think I got these for... Oh man, I'm gonna have to put that down in the, like a little part of the screen here because I do not remember. 
I think it's 30 bucks um but anyways yeah it's pretty much there's not a whole lot more to that guys i'd highly recommend them they're far better than nws i would buy these over nws any day they're similarly priced to Kinepex. you're not going to get the jaw capacity but you're getting you're getting a pretty pretty close product this is one of the this product's been one of the few that i've gotten close to what Kinepex can do as far as quality uh price and just the abilities obviously it's pretty close but anyways every brand fails especially if you abuse them so don't get anything misconstrued thinking any, everything is bulletproof it's not but these are good i like them i really liked them i'm gonna keep carrying them and we're probably we're probably gonna move on to we're really gonna what's that word i'm looking for uh, fucking collapse the tower of Icon, or no, no Doyle, uh, with their quick adjustment pliers. Seen a few reviews on YouTube's here, and quite honestly, those were trash reviews. But so are my videos. So what the fuck? Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the channel, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those shits, TikTok. Check them all out. Catch you guys later. Be safe.